picking this man up from school like it's his mother, man. This bitch is like 25 years old. This man has just turned 17, man. All right, hey, what is going on, guys? Craftix here. And today, guys, we are starting a new sort of series thing going on here. It's going to be story time. I know some people don't like story times, but I got a couple of stories I'd like to tell, and I thought it'd be a good video to make. As you see, I'm back. Thank you guys so much for all the amazing support you've been showing on my channel. We hit 20,000 views, close to 300 subs, boys. We're popping off. I'm coming back forever, as you saw in my last video. But today, guys, we're going to talk about the pedophilia case that was at my work. This shit, this dude was, this bitch was catching a case, man. All right. So for the names, we're going to use Mr. and Mrs. Stank because both of them smell like straight body odor and straight ass fucking constantly, no matter what it was. So let's just get right into this video, boys. All right, so at my last job, I worked at Bojangles, right? I never ate at Bojangles before I actually worked there. It was kind of just a job because they were opening a new store and this store needed new employees. So I just worked there. It was my first job. I worked there for about six months before I finally quit. Now I work at the good old Jersey Mike's because it's a brand new ass store. That shit's clean as fucking a lot more chill than Bojangles. But I worked there for about six months. The first like three months were pretty good. Like it was all right. You know what I'm saying? I was getting used to the job. You know, it didn't seem so bad. But after that three month mark, like shit was just fucking ass, dude. Like, once you actually realize how bad your job is, it's just fuck. It fucks your head the entire time. And you don't want to ever go back to work. And that's how I was. I was calling it like fucking four times a week half the time. But anyways, let's get to the actual story. All right. So this is our manager. She was just like a normal ass shift supervisor, whatever the fuck you call it, for the longest time. Then she, I didn't think anything of it. You know what I'm saying? And it was chill. Everyone was chill. You know what I'm saying? Everyone's friends somewhat. Of course, I can't tolerate fucking everyone at the work, but we were all chill. Everyone was chill together. And then she decides she wants to quit, right? So she's out of the picture. We're understaffed. But our general manager, that man says, fuck no, you're becoming a supervisor. You can hire, you can fire, you can give people raises, all that shit. So after that, that's when shit became sus, bro. She starts talking to this man, Mr. Stank more. All right. Mr. Stank, he was chill, you know what I'm saying? He, I didn't really talk to him. I'm, I'm not going to talk to fucking everyone because I don't like everyone there. But he was he was chill. I mean, he wasn't an annoying ass dude. But he, he starts talking to her more. She starts talking to him more. She starts picking him up from work, starts taking him to work, starts taking him home from work. Starts picking this man up from school like it's his mother, man. This bitch is like 25 years old. This man has just turned 17, man. I know you can say that shit. That ain't no Kevin Case. He's 17. That shit's weird, man. She's 25 years old. Catching a case with some 17-year-old at Bojangles, right? So everyone was starting to somewhat catch on at first. Everyone was like, well, this shit's weird. You're favoring him over everyone else. This man got to go on breaks during shifts. No one else did. This man got the easiest fucking jobs. No one else did. This man didn't have to clean anything when we closed, but everyone else did. This man had the gayest eye of the fucking messenger picture I've ever seen in my life on her phone. She had her phone sitting in the office. You know that messenger, that little bubble? I'll pop a picture up here on the screen somewhere. And this man looked like a straight gay man, dude. And his name had a little heart beside it and shit. And so we all started fucking making jokes and fucking on the low key with all our employees. That shit was funny as fuck. And then they'd start making these fucking corny ass jokes and shit to each other. Like on the, like it was just like they were touchy, touchy feely shit. You know what I'm saying? Shit was just weird. And they started making these corny ass jokes like, I like my women like I like my fucking apple stick or some shit. Like they were saying weird shit like that. And then Mrs. Stank was saying shit. I like my men like I like my coffee dark. And I was like, shut the fuck up, bro. You're 25. Catching a case. It bojangles, man. So time goes on, you know what I'm saying? We all just kept cracking jokes on the low. In front, Even when they were working, we'd still joke about that shit to each other. 
and Mr. and Mrs. Stank just kept taking it to different bases. First base, second base, third base, fucking home. Again, she picks this man up from school every day. Every fucking day, dude. And we were all contemplating telling our general manager, but we're like, who gives a fuck, dude? You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't fair that she became a supervisor with no work, all because she wanted to quit. And now she gives this man a raise, dude. This man, Mr. Stank, gets a raise for doing jack shit and dating a 25-year-old when he is 17. Mr. and Mrs. Stank, if you're out there watching this now, working at Jack in the Box, you guys are fucking weird. And you should fucking go to jail, Mrs. Stank. Fucking nasty ass bitch, man. Alright? You can say that shit's harsh. But that shit's just weird when you actually see it. That's some EDP type shit right there, man. But like I said, as time went on, shit just got better and better between them in their way, like the lover type way, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Shit, you know what I'm saying? And everyone just made fun of him at that point. And everyone hated Mr. Stank after she got her raise. It was just the funniest shit I ever experienced in the workplace. I'm finally glad I got out of that shithole. Fuck Bojangles. I'm saying this now. Never work at a Bojangles unless you want to fuck around and do random ass shit and not do your job. Because that was the funnest shit ever, man. I'll make another story time about all the fucked up shit we did at Bojangles. Because that shit was fun as fuck. Even though Mr. and Mrs. Stank were favoring each other. And it was unfair fucking working conditions for the other people working there when Mr. and Mrs. Stank were working. And she was the closing manager all the time. So, like, she always got to get it her way for the night shift. And I normally work night shift because it was after school. I, you know, me trying to get my bag up. <laughs> they would leave work for hours at a time and come back. What are you guys, where are you going? We're understaffed. Mr. and Mrs. Stank would leave work for hours on end, dude. To do what? You know, make the car rock? Some shit? Make the bed shake? Who fucking knows what they were doing, man? But they came back like ain't nothing happened. And there was this one time, this one time I particularly remember where there's this ice cream shop right next to the Bojangles I worked at. And she goes, Mr. Stank, you want some fucking ice cream? In front of everyone else. And we're like, yo, we want some ice cream. Because this place would give us ice cream for free because we'd give them free food. So it was kind of weighed out the odds, you know what I'm saying? And the manager, the general manager there was cool with our general manager. So it was just even, you know what I'm saying? We always got free ice cream and shit. You could walk over there to get it. But in front of everyone, we're like, yo, get us some, get us some. She comes back. She, okay, she leaves with Mr. Stank then to get the ice cream. And comes back with just their ice cream, man. It doesn't get anyone else ice cream, man. That made everyone fucking mad. But that whole time they were gone, bro, we fucked off that entire time. I don't know if I should be saying this since I work at Jersey Mike's now, but I'm a changed man because fuck Bojangles and fuck their corporation in the nicest and meanest fucking way possible. That shit's unprofessional, but it's funny as fuck to work there. So if you guys want to work at Bojangles for shits and giggles, go work there. But if you want to work there for an actual job that you can enjoy, that's going to pay you a good bit of money, don't fucking work there, dude. Don't work there. Alright? That's Storytime Episode 1. Thank you guys so much for watching. I got a shit ton more about Bojangles and a bunch of other stories I want to tell. So if you guys like more videos like these, go leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to show your amazing support. I love seeing all the support. And I know I was talking on my last video about how the background changed. And now it changed fucking completely more. I'm in my room now. But I'll do a setup tour soon. I just gotta clean up some wires, do some more actual setup stuff to make it complete. But again, guys, I am back. So thank you so much for all the amazing support and everything like that, man. It really means the world to me. Maybe we'll hit 300 subs pretty soon. We're at like 236 or some shit now, man. You guys all mean the world to me. If you need anything, just let me know. Leave a comment, whatever you guys need to talk about. I always respond to all the comments or at least like them or heart them or whatever. 
Thank you guys so much again, dude. You guys don't understand the amazing support. I'm back. I'm going to start streaming again soon. Go follow my TikTok. All my social medias. All the links are down below. I'll see you boys in the next video. And girls. Because I get so many damn comments. You always say boys and all that shit. And man. But that's just my shit. Don't get offended. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, boys.